Alice has planned a pretty over-the-top, um, beautiful, decadent wedding. Um, it's kind of along the lines of, I guess, Midsummer's Night Dream. And um, yes, yeah, she kind of has everything planned out to a T, down to um, what everyone's gonna wear and what Belle is gonna wear on her honeymoon. She kind of has everything taken care of. Alice is, you know, from the 1920s, and so I kind of thought it would be really fun to have that kind of inspire her look. So, um, so Michael, who's head of wardrobe, kind of had a seamstress come in, and we created this kind of 1920-ish dress, and um, we're kind of coordinating the hair and makeup with it. And then the rest of the outfits are not so 1920s inspired, but they all kind of. They work well together, but they're all very specific and unique to each character. The wedding goes pretty wonderful, and they leave for their honeymoon. Um, and because Alice can see the future, she kind of sees that something isn't right and something kind of um, bad is going to happen. So she, um, you know, she calls to talk to Edward or to talk to Bella and finds out that in fact she is pregnant um, with a half vampire child, which um, is, I think, very confusing to all of us because we didn't even know it was possible. So um, Bella and Edward are kind of forced to cut their honeymoon short and they have to rush home and we kind of um, have to figure out, you know, what to do and what this half baby, half vampire wants and if um, it's going to be complete evil or be this wonderful being. And so kind of turns from, um, I think, a fairy tale to chaos. The last film, we kind of finally came and formed this alliance, and um, everything was very civil. And then this baby comes along and kind of, I think, disrupts everything once again because um, Bella wants to keep this child. We want to keep her alive, and we want to try and, you know, enable Edward and Bella to have their child. And um, the wolf pack sees it as a huge threat because, um, you know, they it's gonna be a vampire baby and it's unpredictable and they think that um, it's gonna be a huge threat to the treaty and it's not gonna be able to follow it because it's not gonna know any better. Working with Bill has been so great. He, I can honestly say he's one of the most, I think, patient, kind, um, really talented directors and he's super collaborative and, um, you know, I think he's, so talented as a director and it's just been very humbling I think and really fun to be able to work with him and um, you know I can say hands down that I would love to do another film with him 10 other films with him